Yo, what's good, y'all? In this video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to install Aux inventory for ESX. Um, this is probably one of the most used inventories that's free. Um, in my opinion, it's the best free inventory out there currently. So, yeah, let me just uh, explain this to y'all. So, the first thing you wanna do, uh, I'm gonna put the link in the description. You're just gonna wanna head over to Aux inventory download on GitHub. It's gonna be by Overextended. You want to download the zip file. Make sure you don't get the source code. Just get the Ox underscore inventory um, zip. You want to go ahead and download it. I already downloaded it, so I'm not going to do it again. But once you finish downloading it, what you want to do is go to where you downloaded it. So for me, it's going to be in my uh, downloads folder. So I want to go ahead and double click it to open it. And then we're going to open our resources file from the last video. I don't remember. I don't or I don't know if you guys watched it. But if you guys did watch it, um, then you guys should already have all this done. Um, just going to head over to the, your resources folder and you can make a new folder, which I, I like to do this personally for anything aux related or realistically any other scripts I'm adding on top of um, the ESX base. So first thing you're going to want to do is put a bracket. Um, I only do this for the inventory though. I put it the inventory in its own thing. So just gonna make a new thing, call it inventory. I'm gonna go ahead and open it. We're gonna drag ox inventory into that folder that we just created. And as soon as this is done, you're not gonna need this anymore, so you can close the zip. Just wanna head over to ESX add-ons and delete add-on inventory. Since obviously we're adding our own inventory system, we don't need the ESX one. So you can go ahead and just delete it. If you want, you can back it up. It's honestly up to you. And then once that's done, we're going to need to download oxlib. So just search for ox underscore lib. It's going to be the first link by overextended. Once again, head over to releases. Make sure you're downloading the newest release, which is at the time of recording this video, it's 3.2. Download the zip folder and download it to my downloads. As soon as this is done, you can just open it up. Then you're gonna wanna, I like making a new folder. So since a lot of scripts are gonna rely on aux inventory, I make a dependency folder. So dependencies and another bracket. And then I just drag oxlib or anything or if a script is going to rely on a different script, for example, aux inventory relies on aux lib to work, I just put everything in inside of dependencies. So it's, it's realistically just a drag and drop. And then same thing for the inventory. It's just a drag and drop. You don't need to run anything. Everything should just work right off the bat. Now, we're going to need to tell the server to start these scripts. And the way we're going to do that is you're going to just go back outside of your resources and open the server.cfg and you can just scroll down and right under these right under uh core i would do um oxlib so oxlib is inside of category dependencies so we're just going to start the whole category and by the way when i say categories i'm talking about folders with brackets um, in the name so now since I insured the whole category anything I put in here I don't have to go and um, start it through our server config it just makes everything cleaner in here and then now we're gonna want to start the inventory under our dependencies so I'll just put it down here to keep everything in order so we'll just start it right there and you can close that and that's honestly it now you're just gonna wanna go ahead and start your server. I'm gonna hide this, um, cause it's gonna, there you go. And then now you'll see aux inventory. It loaded in um, all the items. Um, and yeah, and then now we can go ahead and open up 5M and I'll be right back with you guys as soon as I'm loaded into the server, okay? Now that we're loaded in, all you're going to want to do to click your inventory is just open up F2. And now, we if you guys watched the last video, you'll see the difference in the inventory. Um, the ESX one is just a regular menu. And then obviously this, you have everything. If you click tab, you have your little hotbar on the bottom. 
and I'll just show you guys that it does work. So we'll just do give item. Um, so you can do um, one if your ID is one. This is just your uh, your player ID, which shows um, right up top. So I'm gonna just do me because I want to give it to myself, and I'll just do water, and then I want only one water. And as you can see, it gave the water item to me. You can even drag it to use, and there you go. You even get a little notification on top. And that's how you install Ox Inventory into ESX. It's honestly fairly simple. Um, the next video is gonna be adding like custom items. Um, we're gonna be doing uh, Kairos Weapon Pack after this video. So if you guys do want me to show you how to install different scripts and all this, just leave a comment and tell me what scripts you guys want want like for me to record a video for. And, uh, and I'll try my best to get that video done for you guys. But that's honestly it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was honestly, I know it's a short video, but does it need to be long when it's something this simple? So hope I helped you guys and I'll catch you guys on the next one.